All right, y'all, time back again. Um, today we're just going to do a little hack. Nothing fancy. Um, and I'll tell you a little quick story. Um, a, a buddy of mine was coming to work um, this morning. And he didn't charge his cell phone last night. The alternator quit on his car, which drained his battery, so he couldn't even charge his phone. Well, his phone died in the process. So... He wasn't able to get a hold of nobody, wasn't able to call work and let them know that, hey, he was going to be late, he had car problems or anything. So what I'm going to do is show you a little hack that will help you out in the pinch. And that's about what it's going to do. I mean, if you need it, use it. It's not, it's not nothing terrible, not nothing good. It's just a little hack. All right, I got a fully charged 2.0 amp hour heart battery. Now, you can do this with heart batteries, Dewalt batteries, Milwaukee batteries. You can do it with hopper tough batteries, Porter cable batteries, whatever kind of battery you want. It don't matter. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest using a 4-amp battery. Um, it's going to blow these out pretty quick. Um, I've done it several times. All right. What we're going to use here, if I can find my wires... All right, here's the wires I use in another video. Just got some alligator clamps to them. Little push pins. What we're gonna do is, on the, we're gonna push them in the battery, but on these batteries here, I don't know if you can see it, most of them have a positive and a negative on them. Like I said, I don't know if you can really see it. Um, positive side, negative side. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to take the negative side here, we're going to push in the white wire which we use for negative and push in the negative side. The red one we're going to use for positive, push that in. Now on some of these, some of these little 12 volt car chargers as you can see, this is just a dual port. 12 volt car charger, that's all it is. Some of these here, both of these grounds are hooked up. <coughs> um, sometimes only one of them is hooked up, so I'm not sure which side is hooked up or, or both of them are. So we're gonna test it, find out right quick. And all you gotta do is just put one, your positive alligator clamp onto the bottom, just like that. Put your negative here. Yep, there we go. See a red light come on? All right. I'm going to take that one off for a minute. Now I'm going to put the negative on. Now I'm gonna, me, I'm going to get a piece of tape because I want to show you this hack and I don't want to cause my battery to go out. It's a pretty neat little hack. But again, I don't want to cause a bunch of sparks and short anything out. Or... All right, now take this one here, hook it up. As you can tell, the red light's on. Now I'm going to take another piece of tape, and I'm just going to tape it on real quick. Like I said, this is nothing fancy. All this is is a this is a little hack to help you out in a pinch. All right. Now you need a 12 volt the car charger. Uh, this ain't 12 volts, but I mean, this is a little car, little char portable charger. Mine's a C. Charging cord is here. Uh, plug it up. Now, this cell phone here, as you can tell, it's not, I push the buttons and everything, it's not even on. This phone ain't even, don't even have service to it. All right. Yep, see, come on, the charging come on. Now give it a few seconds and you'll see it starting to charge. Well, maybe more than a few seconds. See, there we go. Now after a minute or two, you'll be able to charge, turn your phone on. Now I would suggest leaving it hooked up until you make a phone call. 
Like I said, it's not something that's going to last uh, a long period of time. But, I mean, it will charge your phone. And maybe here. All right. It said 3% and then it went off. So give me a second. I think it's cool. We've got a short in it because this one has been thrown around. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, you see it charging? Now you'll be able to turn your phone on. Be able to make a call. Now I wouldn't unhook the cord. But, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, like I said, you can take it and you can use, there's a hyper tough battery, your positive and negative. Just stick it in like this, just to show you. And again, the red light's on and it is charging. Now, me personally, I like to use a 1.5 amp hour battery for this. There's a port of cable, positive and negative. 1.5 amp don't seem to get the wires as, as warm. See, it's charging. Red light's on. So, hopefully this little hack will help you. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.